Hello, everybody, and welcome to race number 11 of the Season 5 NSCRA T-Mobile Cup Series. First off, I know when, uh, I want to say it was Mossport, I could be wrong on the exact race, from that race on to Daytona Night, um, I had fixed my headset, I thought, and then it was on the wrong settings, and then after Daytona, Rogers, I want to thank so much, Zach Rogers, because I rocked my face the one that gave me the headset here, um, he helped me fix the headset, so hopefully, the keyword hopefully when you hear this video is not ear rape, it is not echoey, it's just perfect the way it is. The keyword hopefully, fingers crossed here, if not, then bad luck. On the pole, we have Joshua Sicoli. next to him, we have Adam Garcia, third, Mike Becker, fourth, Carter Friesen, fifth, Diego Yepes, sixth, Nathan Ormond, seventh is RJ Bishop, eighth, Levi McIntyre, ninth, Sky Commons, currently dead last in the points right now. Good starting spot for him, so we'll see if he gets a benefit there. And completing the top 10, TJ Hanley, as here's the rest of your starting lineup from 11th on back. And on the final row, we have Andrew Miller and JT Bryant. So there's a look right there. Coming to look at the points right now. Rob Evans has a seven-point lead over Preston Floor. That Trent Dunham is third in the points. Fourth, Dylan Pote. Fifth, James Qualls. Sixth, Zach Winkle. Ben Crouch has worked his way up to seventh after the great run he had at Daytona. Ember Ross is eighth. Joshua Sicoli, your pole center, is ninth. And Kev Shear getting back some points that he lost the uh, last couple of weeks. He is up into tenth. So we're about ready to get the command shortly. This track's got some great camera angles and all. For Washington, D.C. So let's go down track so to get the command to fire them engines. Drivers, stop your engines! As there's the command has been given. Apologize if I'm a little nasally right now. I'm not sick, but I just got a little bit of something going up my nasal congestion and all. A little bit. With the field rolling by him, we'll take you to the green. As we get ready to take you to the green flag here at DC, Joshua Sicoli, Adam Garcia going to take them down as the front row is there. Green flag, we are underway at DC. Let's roll. Coming over to complete lap number one. You got the 28 of Mike Becker going to lead them down. And did I just seriously hear a spin? Yes, I did. The caution's out. And it's, oh my goodness, William Brock. And there were, some cars already took the yellow. While others are racing back. And already a quick caution. Coming on lap two of 57. As Diego Yepes is going to lead them down. Coming to the line. I'm actually curious to know how the 88 spun out. As you see where the skid marks are. This was just as they were heading into the line. And caution coming out for the first time on lap 3. Right now of 57. I don't see anyone going to come on down pit road. Be no point. But caution's out. Diego Yep as your leader. Let's go take a look over ourselves. Our first caution William Brock. Well, this is going to start between William Brock and Dylan Young. You're going to see the 88 just does not take the turn well. 92 gets a good run, does the Kodiak dodge. And you see they're just about attempting four wide where you see Kev Shear, the 17, and the 19. James Qualls, 19 backs away. And right there go the three cars. Kev Shear does get a little piece. I don't think that's really going to affect the 17 at all. And again, that was right at the start-finish line. You see right where the 17 or primarily where uh, Ben Crouch was in the 25 on back, they uh, took the yellow, so they had to slow down and basically go down a uh, normal speed limit there. So Tough break right there for William Brock. Good news, though, he got his spot back, so that is a good sign right there for the UPS Ford for the Robert Yates racing car. Caution's out. Let's take it back to the green. Welcome back. It's pace car. Give us a one lap to go. It's going to make its dive very, very soon, or actually right now, rather. No cars out of the race after that incident, which is a good sign right there. 
So here's your top 10 rundown here at DC. Diego Yepes, your leader, second. RJ Bishop, third. Sky Commons, fourth. Is Mike Becker, fifth. Preston Plourd, sixth. Joshua Sicoli, seventh. Dylan Pote, eighth. Adam Garcia, ninth. Levi McIntyre, playing the top 10. Nathan Ormond. So as we're about ready to get back to the green flag here at DC. Green flag, we are back underway here in DC. A good start by Diego Yepes, and now you're seeing Bishop, now Sky Commons going for second. Bishop had to tuck back in line. Keep in mind that 40 car is dead last in the points, and every point is really going to be better. He is literally a whole race behind 41st in the points. So this is really good for Sky Commons, especially if he can lead a lap right here. That would be big for that Corvus Light Dodge. And it looks like that 40 team is going to do it. Coming to the line, Sky Commons will eat a big crucial bonus point. Now, because we're in the second half of the season and there's no chase, you have to remember every point is going to matter for all 42 drivers here, especially the ones that are bound for the championship. Like Preston Plourd, like your points leader, Rob Evans. And, oh, a couple cars down pit road. Kev Shearer, 10th at points. And TJ Hanley and the 44 on down pit road. I'm actually surprised that they are on down, but I am not going to argue. A lot of spread out separation going on by with these drivers, though. Oh, seven of Jack Halleck. Oh, bouncing off the wall like crazy. And he kept it together. He got off of uh, last race winner Seth Cole right there, but they keep it together. And a good save to not bring out the yellow. Comets, though, trying to retake the lead from Sicoli. Did not lead that lap just earlier. And now three wide for second, nearly third. Oh, and there goes Levi McIntyre. What a save right there. Here comes the 28 now of Mike Becker. And I'm still curious to know why TJ Hanley and Kev Shear went down pit road. Probably are making an early indication of pit stops. But in the meantime, Nathan Orman in the 8 car. RJ Bishop in the 32. Now they're making moves on Mike Becker. Now keep in mind, a lot of the drivers who are from the SCS that are in this series, like Sky Commons in the 40. Whoa, is Kugelon really got loose right there? He technically is one of them. Jesse Turner, 4 wide for position. Wow, they're racing really good over here. That's definitely a big Sony Cup Series driver. Keep in mind, he was bound for that championship not too long ago, which I don't want to really talk about too much about Jesse because of that moment, even though he's losing spots right there. But keep in mind, too, though, Jesse, he knows about this track, and he knows how to run. So give him some credit. He'll know how to do it. As Carter Friesen got the wall right there. There's Rob Evans. Zachary Fitzwater is another driver that knows about this track. Looking through here, you got Johnny Gardner in the 43. Charles Sanford in the 4, definitely big onto this course. Dylan Young in the 92. And that is it. His comments, though, continuing to lead. I'm not surprised that this 40 team... They can run. They can do really good when when the when it counts there. And I'll I'll give Commons credit. This is a really good track to him. So this is good to see that the 40 team is actually doing really good here. And Jessica Shelton's been working her way up to the front. Yep, is starting to starting to slip back. Here comes Benjamin Miles and Jesse Turner. Look at him go. Last couple races really have not been his way. Here he is in the 10th spot trying to go underneath Adam Garcia for ninth. Just been involved in a little bit of bad luck as of late. Just can't seem to really get out of the slump. And now the McDonald's Ford, who sits himself in the top 35 in the points as of what we speak, needs a good run to really rebound for sure. This is all Sky Commons 
in the Coors Light Dodge as we're heading into lap 20 and 57. Now, remember, because those two drivers of Kev Shear and TJ Hanley went down pit road, what does it mean for the other 40 drivers coming on by or Zach Winkle starting to lose uh, Tristan Folks in the 55 there? It could mean that we have green flag pit stops if we remain green flag racing. Now, I'm not going to jinx it at all because anything can and will happen on this track, and you never know what the case will be. But give credit to Sky Commons, though. He looks like he's going to try to lead the most laps by getting that extra bonus point. He is doing a damn good job right now in that 40 machine. So Coley been trying to get to that corner panel into the bumper of the 40 and just been no luck whatsoever. And now Sicoli could make a challenge on Sky Commons. I don't know if he's going to get him, though. Sicoli's starting to run away from Shelton and Orban, and here comes Sicoli back for the lead. Tell you what, Sicoli the pole sitter, and Sky Commons, safe to say, they have two of the strongest cars out here in this race. Now you're seeing the inside line is the preferred line to go, but at times the high line when necessary, can be used and get a slight advantage, especially when you're going to get the draft, just like what Shelton is doing to Sky Commons. But now Shelton may be under fire because Nathan Orman coming to the inside, and now Sicoli will clear the 40. They are approaching Kev Shear there. Jesse Turner now up into some, trying to hunt down Preston Plord. Right now, that top 10 spot is currently occupied by Zachary Fitzwater, now going underneath R.J. Bishop for the ninth position. At least he tried to. Now Adam Garcia. Back to Lemv. He's been slipping back quite a ways ever since the restart of the race. Yepes, who led at the restart. Also trying to rebound some ground that he lost. Rob Evans hanging around in the top 20. This is one of the drivers that Johnny Garter has really been uh, pushing toward. Outside of Daniel Olsen and Quentin Moore. Although, the thing about Rob Evans is this is that this is the only series that Johnny wants him in. And driving that AJ Foyt Conseco Pontiac there. With uh, Ron Horry's colors on there with that Conseco car. Under fire from James Qualls for 15th right there. So, a lot of eyes will definitely be on the 14 of Rob Evans and the 20 of Preston Plourd. Right now, Plourd has the advantage of the race so far. But right now, he is going to be under fire from Jesse Turner, possibly Dylan Poteen, and even Benjamin Miles in the 33. So probably that 20 team might be very careful. So Cully and Commons still the top two. They've ran away from third place, Nathan Orman. Floor now going underneath for fourth on Shelton Turner. Going to follow for fifth. Two for one right there. Nice move by the rookie. I'll tell you what about Turner. He may be a rookie in this series, but he definitely has that veteranship in other series. Oh, and Pozzi got a little tight off the corner there, and he is riding the wall off of turn three and four. And he's going to pay the price for that one. He's going to lose some spots. He's going to fall outside of the top ten, scoring 11th at the line, and now going to lose 12th to Vince Almarego in the 0-2. Wow, Bishop really lost uh, some ground right there. I think he had a big wiggle, and Pozzi going to go around via the high line. That's not good right there by R.J. Bishop. But now Bishop trying to get that position back from Dylan Pote and will do so. Preston Plour now starting to slip back. Jessica Shelton, Zachary Fitzwater, they're working the inside of the 20. And Turner, he's got his eyes set on Nathan Orman. And those two are reeling in comments at Sicoli. Oh, and wow, they caught up to Tristan Foltz, who's really off the pace. Jack Mitchell coming on down pit road. Jack Halleck also is, I think, made a pit stop. I'm not too entirely... No, he's not. I don't know what's up with Jack Halleck. But Jack Mitchell on down pit road. Tristan Folks, I believe he went down pit road too. I, I'm not too sure. No, he didn't. He's just 
He may have a tire going down. I'm not too sure. Whatever the case is. But we are still seeing some incredible racing here as we're past halfway, keep in mind. And Crouch, you're seeing three wide battles right there between Sanford Young and Crouch. And then up ahead, Seth Cole was in a three wide with Dunham and Dixon. But to keep it together, look at Crouch trying to go to that inside line and that the white part of the asphalt there, the concrete part, and that ain't going to work. That's going to slow your car down. You want to be like how Young was, but you're in the low part of the concrete without going to that, that low line right there. And look at that, Benjamin Miles coming on down. Another car I've seen, that's Jesse Turner. So green flag pit stop separately coming on by. Tristan Folks also down in the 55. So it should be interesting to see that because this should be the only other the only pit stop that they should have for today. And for a second, I thought I just heard an access. Carter Friesen also down pit road. Dylan Pote. I'm not surprised with him. Kyle Matthews. And there's folks coming off of pit road. And the leader, Joshua Sicoli and Skycom is going to surrender the top position. Zachary Fitzwater is going to lead a lap. So literally the top four plus all down. A bunch of drivers still staying out. OT going to slow down Joshua Sicoli a bit. And this pit road is a little tricky because it's so wide. But yet, these drivers like to be so narrow heading down pit road. So, you got to be careful. Rob Evans also down. And, oh, close call right there for Fitzwater. Almost going into JT Bryant right there. Zach Winkle gets a little piece of James Qualls. And out and away they all go here. Turner got a nice pit stop. I'll tell you what, that, that 96. Depending on where those guys go. Oh, yep, has really held up McIntyre, Kukulon. Cole and Young right there. Sheldon got ahead of Sicoli. I'm not sure, but I think the leader could be Jesse Turner. I, I could be wrong on that, but we'll see when they cr come across the line. I could be entirely wrong because of um, Fitzwater and all. He has scored seventh right now. Garter coming off of pit road in that 43. There's Fitzwater in the 77. I, I think the lead could be Benjamin Miles because him and Turner just swapped for the top position. We'll wait till they update, but I could be wrong on that, though. We're going to see when they come across the line right here. Yes, indeed. Benjamin Miles and Jesse Turner. Great pit stops by the Oakwood Home Chevrolet and the McDonald's Ford. Coming off of turn number two. For Miles, this would be his first win if he gets the opportunity. And for Jesse Turner, looking for a second his last win coming back over at Mossport. Keep in mind, too, Turner's going to be a rookie for the Intercell Outback Xfinity Series. Driving the number 78 Aflac Ford. Or, or excuse me, Aflac um, uh, Dodge, I want to say it was. I don't know why I said Ford. It was, yeah, Aflac Dodge for uh, Bishop Family Racing. And then Miles, he'll be a part of Sega Keith in the Xfinity Series, driving the 42. And in Cup Series, he'll be driving the number 43, both of which Chevrolets. Big time sponsor Hertz will be aboard the 33 car in the seat, or um, the 42 and the 43 when they head into those ex uh, when he heads into those expected rides. So look at the top 10 run down here. We mentioned our top two: Jessica Shelton in third, Joshua Scully fourth, Sky Commons fifth. Look at this wad of cars right there. You got Adam Garcia, Carter Friesen, Vince Almorego, Rob Evans, Preston Plourd. Top two in the title right there. Zachary Fitzwater and Dylan Pote. I'll tell you what, that's 22. Remember, he scraped the wall earlier on, and here he is trying to get back into the top 10. Great job by the Caterpillar Dodge. Whatever strategy they did, they got him back in the top 10. And I just see, yeah, that's Nathan Orman. Wow, he fell back quite a ways off that pit stop. Benny Watson, how about the 15 there? In the top 15 right there is that Napa Chevrolet, and they're trying to hunt down Adam Garcia in the 29. And Jonathan Zorlin still on pit road. A problem for the 27 Dukes Mayonnaise Pontiac. As Kev Shearer also slow in the 17. That early pit stop did not help him out at all. 
He is hoping for a yellow to happen. Phil Goldberg also off of pit road. He is him and Zorlin are five laps down. They, they are having issues in the 18 and the 27 car. Well, some drivers have some good days, others not so much. A caution would change everything for sure as we are nearing the 10 laps to go, Mark, in five more laps. So these drivers, or actually six more laps, I should say. Sky Commons definitely did not have a good pit stop right there in that 40, 40 machine there. However, I do think he will get the extra bonus point for leading the most laps is the Coors Light Dodge. So that is a good sign right there. However, he has not been having a good season, so... Every point's going to matter for that 40 team. Oh, well, Rob Evans enjoyed his run right there. Keep in mind, he is the points leader. And the fact that Preston Plourd in the 20 is behind him, that is going to help Rob Evans in that battle for the championship. Maybe a little early to talk about it, but you never know these days. Turner and Sicoli, or not Sicoli, I'm sorry. Um, Turner and Miles swapping side-by-side side for the lead. I keep thinking that's Sicoli in the 31, but he is... Coming for that third position on Jessica Shelton. I'm surprised Sicoli's wanting to battle Jessica Shelton instead of working together with her so they can get up to where Turner and Miles are. These two are playing smart there. They're not really battling each other, but Miles, he is not wanting Jesse Turner to get that position, let alone get the win. So he's going to want to get that win, and they're swapping like crazy right there. Turner's got a little bit of that SCS momentum from Homestead. Because in a way, this track does kind of have that similarities. Uh, mainly the bank turns and all. But really, it ain't a big track. It's only a mile, mile and a half long. And this track is so wide. Yeah, it can provide some great racing. We've seen in past, in past seasons that the, the drivers here will use every bit of track. But now these guys have much calmed down and not going to go super crazy. So far, Benjamin Miles has the... Not the fastest last lap. That would actually be Turner. Oh, Miles did now, but Turner's got a really good car in that McDonald's Ford. So Coley's gotten third. Shelton fell back to six, and look at Zachary Fitzwater in the 77, the Jasper Ford. Man, whatever they put in that car, that car is flying through the field. Up to third. I don't know if Fitzwater's going to have enough time to reel in Jesse Turner and Benjamin Miles, but man... Fitzwater's put, given a fight there. But Sicoli, man, he's not playing nice in this one here. He knows he wants that third spot. But the problem is the more that these guys battle, the more Turner and Miles are running away. Let's see when we come to the line. Benjamin Miles and Jesse Turner compared to third place. Three point one three, yeah. Now, now they're tucking back in line. Sicoli slips up the track, and now Fitzwater, Plore, now working together. You can see they're losing ground because they're battling, and it's really hurting these drivers. Rob Evans behind Preston Plore in the twenty, in the fourteen there behind the twenty. Benny Watson, how about him in the top ten? Vince Almarego in the top ten. JT Bryan in the top ten. Carter Friesen at 11th. Great runs all around. Sicoli's starting to slip back more. Now Fitzwater. He knows he's got a good car. So I don't know if he's going to have enough time. Fastest lap has been to Dylan Pozzi with a 23.845. He was in the top 10. Where is the 22 actually? Because I'm actually curious to know. All the way in 12th. Not a bad run, but still is all Benjamin Miles and Jesse Turner. And you notice Fitzwater because he's working with others behind him. He's able to catch up. Let's see this time by. 2.58. Wow, they really cracked down some time. Point four, point, uh, point 0.4 seconds, but man, that just is not enough time. Now Rob Evans going underneath Preston Plourd. Tried to do it. Going to tuck back in line. That's why we're probably telling the radios of the 20 and the 14. Come on, if we want to get a win, work together with me. Stay single file. 2.19. I 
Another point four. I don't know, man. This is going to be close. Hey, Fitzwater may get Turner. I don't know about Benjamin Miles, though. Turner, though, trying to hunt down that Oakwood Home Chevrolet. And I'll tell you what, for Fitzwater, if Turner and Miles could fight it out with one another, that would be huge. Coming to the line now as we're four laps to go. 1.92. That's point three, nearly point four. Yeah, they're about shredding about point four a lap. I that's not enough. I don't think so. But you can see behind that 96 there. That 77 is coming. I'm gonna line now. 1.76. Uh-oh, now it's point two. Turner though. Not giving up on Benjamin Miles there. Still a great run for McDonald's four. He's definitely get, going to get some points. Miles, though, in that Oakwood home Chevrolet. Two laps to go. Yeah, not enough time, I think, for Fitzwater and Plourd and others to catch up. But Turner, he's trying to push that McDonald's forward to get up to that Oakwood home Chevrolet. The Joe Nemechek colors versus the Andy Houston colors. Coming off the final turn, we'll see the white flag in hand. One more time around at DC for Benjamin Miles and Jesse Turner. One lap to go. Turner now starting to slip back from Benjamin Miles. I think it's safe to say Miles may have this in the bag. Slow cars are not going to be an issue. Benjamin Miles coming off of turn three, heading off the final corner. Said he's ready for the inner cell stuff, but for right now, he's focused on T-Mobile. Off the final turn, Benjamin Miles is going to win here at DC. And a stellar performance for Benjamin Miles. He's going to pick up a huge victory for the Oakwood Home Chevrolet. A great run for Benjamin Miles and a much-deserved needed win for the 33 team. Here's the rest of your top 10 results here presented by NBC Sports. Benjamin Miles will get the victory second. Jesse Turner, a great car he had, but will come away second. Zachary Fitzwater was actually almost hunting down Jesse Turner. He'll come away third, though. Great effort. Plourd finished ahead of Rob Evans. One point is all that matters. And a great job right there for Plourd to get that point off Rob Evans. Jessica Shelm finished sixth. Joshua Sicoli seventh. JT Bryant, 8th, Vince Almarego, 9th, and Benny Watson. Probably the biggest surprise of them all. Didn't even talk about him at all. Comes away with a top 10 run. Great car with that Napa Chevrolet. Here's the rest of your finishing results here. Looking at your top 20. Nicholas Wade, another surprise. Same for Carter Friesen, 11th and 12th. Dylan Pote, 13th. Adam Garcia, 14th. RJ Bishop, 15th. Sky Commons did get some laps led. I don't know about the most laps altogether, but I think he did. Who knows? Nathan Orman, 17. James Squalls, 18th. William Brock, 19th. Clean the top 20. Mike Becker. Here's the rest of your results from 21st on down. 35th below. Finished off the lead lap. So 34th finished in the lead lap as well. And the two cars have really struggled the most. Jonathan Zorlin and Philip Goldberg. They'll come away 41st, 42nd. Five laps down due to their problems on pit road. Well, thank you guys for watching. If you liked it, be sure to give it a like. Comment your thoughts this race. Subscribe, be a part of the channel by hitting that subscribe button as you've been watching a production of the NSRA offline racing at its best. We'll see you for race number 12. Until then, here come the points at the end of the video. Like always, goodbye, everybody.